There's only about 250 people, I think, in the village. This village probably has more of the elderly than a lot of villages. Um, a lot of them have been here their whole lives. Um, there isn't another shop or another pub or anything for about four and a half miles. So we are, when we talk of rural pubs, we are probably are. as rural as yeah. they come. And we'd already decided we were going to open the pop-up shop on the Saturday. You know, we've been in this industry for a long time and that was probably the hardest and fastest learning curve we've ever been through. Mm. I used to go in, into town shopping. I'd, I'd be sort of masked up and gloved up and have so much stuff with me all the time to, you know, to put on. But um, I used to go and buy all the toothpastes and the deodorants and stuff like that in town, and then have it here to sell to people that actually, you know, needed it in the village. Um, by doing the village shop, it meant nobody had to go into town. Think and I think them? people locally fully appreciated that we are going to market mm. it. That was the purpose of the shop. Had two purposes. One was to serve the community, but obviously. The other one was to try and keep our heads above water. Not only, obviously, it's a business, but every, they do so many other things for the village and nothing is any trouble. It is definitely a village pub for all of us. There was something that everybody wanted, you know, not lots of stock, but essentials. Speaking from the, for the older generation, we were made to feel so welcome. There was the shop, and then there was the takeaway. So Friday night was uh, fish and chip night um, and you had to get in early because everybody wanted fish and chips. And I think the second Friday when the phone just never stopped mm. and I think we did 125 fish and chip takeaway meals. We obviously communicated and publicised the shop through our wider Facebook groups and surrounding villages but very much kept the closed Facebook group within the village. And then we asked people, can you go and knock on doors, knock on their window? You know, because the age category of those people who needed the help weren't on social media, they weren't on Facebook. You know, they needed someone knocking on their window, knocking on their door, say, is there anything you need? Can we just check you're okay? Lauren used to sort of just tap the door and say, oh, we have this fish pie was left over, you know, thought you'd like it, and that was it, you know, because it was keep away from everybody sort of thing. But um, so they delivered it to the door, it was marvellous. And we used to chat for about 20 minutes um, on the doorstep, just, you know, passing time away. The purpose of a village pub is, is to be part of a community. It sounds a bit of a cliché, but they always say, you know, you don't own the pub, you're only looking after it for that period mm. of time you're at it, and hopefully it'll continue a long time into the future. But we had an obligation, we felt we wanted to stay involved in the community because we were the focus of the community. We've tried to be that ever since we came here.